Mocha Pizza is in the mountains. We are already going up the incline. This looks like something out of an Alice in Wonderland trail here. Hmm. Perfect. If you're going to go out to a more remote place like this, it does take sometimes those extra couple of trains because we are going deep into the countryside of Nara to Ikoma. But this time we actually got to go on one of these express trains where you're paying a toll, but it means that you get the kind of luxurious experience. In eight years in Japan, I've never ever actually sat in a room like this before where you got downstairs into these luxurious chairs. It's pretty cool. All right, we made our way now to Ikoma Station. So it's one of these out of the way places. This is in Nara Prefecture and it's beautiful, it's mountainous. It's actually where we filmed the yogurt retreat video in our last one, but definitely off the beaten path has this beautiful Hosanji temple and one of these places that you must explore in Japan if you want to find, like we have, one of these cool places that is a little more off the main trail that you'd usually find. We're about to hop in a cab now because that is actually the only way that you get to this pizza place if you don't have a car. And it's a place that we want to take you for that specific reason. It's a little more off the beaten path and you would be a local or you're hanging around here and you're hooked up with wheels if you're going to get to it. But for us, it's going to be a taxi. All right, we've grabbed our cab from the station now because Yamaoka Pizza is in the mountains. We are already going up the incline and it takes about 20 minutes to get there, remote. And the cost of the taxi ride, if you're going to do this, is about 2,200 yen. So you gotta want that pizza. And we really, really do. We're making the effort today, even if it's gonna take us up a mountain to get it. Here we are at the entrance to Yamaoka Pizza. And before, I came in from the other side. So this is a little different, but as you can see, when you come up onto the mountain, you get everything it has to offer. It's so beautiful and lush. This looks like something out of an Alice in Wonderland trail here. Of course, it doesn't hurt that we have the rainy day as well, so that rain is adding extra life to all the foliage here as it gets wet. It's very cool. Well, our reservation is in the next six minutes, so we should get going. It has rained a lot here, so we have to watch our step or our feet are going to get absolutely soaked. This is absolutely gorgeous, guys. So, this way we get a beautiful view of Nara. Up here you can see, look at what they've done with it. It looks so rustic, but once we get inside, they've really made great efforts to maintain the place and make it beautiful to not only just look at from the outside, but from the inside as well. What an unbelievable spot this is. Yeah, once you get inside, you get this wonderful view out all across the whole way. And then there's the restaurant, but there's also a kind of cafe section. So we're gonna check it all out. Really explore the space. Here we go. Beautiful. Oh, konnichiwa. ゲームと申します。マリコですよ。よろしくお願いします。よろしくお願いします。そう、お邪魔します。すいません。失礼します。一応ね、席はここなんですよ。ここか、ま、外、雨なんですよ。そう、そうですね。はい、ありがとうござい
I'm excited. Yamaoke Pizza is special. The views are amazing from it. The food is great. It is so peaceful when you are there. The heart and soul, of course, is the food coming out of the kitchen, and at Yamaoke Pizza, they have a special way to prepare it. Each pizza is baked with love inside a large stone oven. The shape and design of a stove oven make sure that the top and bottom of the pizza cook evenly, giving you a totally delicious and beautiful to look at result. Some of the food is here, we are still waiting for the pizza, but so far we've got the mushroom um, ajijo and the oven roasted um, onion. And the thing about the onion, it's organic and it's grown in the mountains of Ikoma and it just looks looks sublime it's, it comes with a chili sauce and the mushrooms you've got different types of mushrooms you've got i can see shiitake and enoki and himeji and stuff and it's just it came in sizzling in oil and just the, the smell of the spices and the mushrooms and the everything is just mind-boggling so um yes let's dig in let's let's get into it let's give it a try Guys, you have to smell it. Oh, okay. Here it goes. Organic mushrooms, nice oregano, great seasoning. Just this is this is ridiculous. Food in this place is sublime. It's amazing. Oh, just guys, take my word for it. Oh, oh, don't! Just just come here and eat it. Just try it. Alright, I would be remiss to not try myself. It's getting a slice into these locally grown organic onions. Here we are. Mm. What stands out immediately? Very, very simple, straightforward. Minimal number of ingredients, but the amount of variety of flavors that you get from this is delicious. It's buttery, it's sweet, it's a little bit spicy, herbaceous. Top shelf, top shelf. They've uh, knocked it out of the park with this one. The first orders of food were so tasty, but of course the star of the show is the pizza. It was hard to wait for it, but when at last it did arrive, we were not disappointed. The colors were rich and the dough looked so light and fluffy that it might float away if we didn't eat it soon. All right, doing the honors now. Talk about incredible presentation that they have here. It's so good. Lots of care with the ingredients. Mmm. Perfect. The oregano, you don't have so many ingredients that they clash with each other. The oregano with the garlic, perfect, buttery. Mm. And the sauce, the sauce is killer. We have that as well with the onions and we predicted it would be this good. So a little tip for you, if you poured it the ajijo, and now you don't know what to do with your crusts, although they're delicious. It's a little dip in the ajijo oil from before. And then you've got... Mm, incredible combination. These guys are pros. Mm. After having the amazing starters and incredibly savory pizza, there's not much that could possibly be better. That is, of course, other than more pizza. And Yamaoke has the perfect follow-up option, dessert pizza. We ordered what is called in Japanese Ichijiku, or in English, fig. It was drenched in chocolate sauce and served with vanilla ice cream. If you listened carefully, you could hear Mihao and I growing fatter just looking at it. The chocolate, oh my goodness, and the ice cream is melt. Okay, all right, all right. Just calm down, Mihao. <laughs> you got this. Wow. Let's get a quick taste with the Ichijiku. I love it. So let's try oh, with a bit of ice cream. Um, I'm going home. Try it. Like, <laughs> just, just do it. Sorry. Oh my. 
great. A place is good because of the people. Therefore, it was a high priority for me to speak with both the owners. I wanted to know how anyone ever finds themselves in a place like this, high on a mountain, hidden away from most people. What was it about this place that drew them to it, and why do they do what they do?そう、15年 ずっとやってたし、料理学校も行ってた。それでまあ料理しかないなと思ったんで、まあイタリアに飛んで、ちょっと修行させてもらって帰ってきたらそういうまあここでやらないかっていう話が出て、今に至ってるっていう感じですね